I am Sharon Jira with Business Time on Times Television. It is a magazine program where we bring you business and economic news stories making headlines. In the program today, tobacco sales start on a low note. And RBM sets 5% inflation growth by 2021. We have these many other stories. Stay with us. The Daily Times, Malawi News and the Sunday Times newspapers. Anytime, anywhere, by the click of a mouse or a swipe on your smartphone. With E-Times, right on your mobile gadget. Flip through the pages with a swipe or a click. Navigate through all pages and see clear pictures and designs. Access a database of previous papers of the Daily Times, Malawi News and the Sunday Times. Easy. Subscribe now to E-Times. Go to www.times.mw forward slash e-edition. Sign up and log in. Enter your password and enjoy the newspaper. It's about time. Tobacco sales started on a low note at the Limbi auction floors on Thursday morning with farmers lamenting low prices and high rejection rate. Sales were suspended almost 20 minutes after opening, which left most farmers disgruntled. William Kumwembe was at the floors and now reports. Tobacco sales begin here at the Limbi auction floors, but rather on a low note, evidenced by low prices offered by buyers ranging from as low as 65 cents. Of course, the highest noted was $1.50. As if that is not enough, farmers seem concerned with the high rate of rejection. No sales are on the rise. <laughs> As you see, everything is at a standstill. Farmers are clueless with no idea what comes next because, as we speak, everything is on hold. Tobacco farmers have no idea what would happen next as tobacco sales are on hold here at the Limbi auction floors. For over two hours, officials were roped up in a meeting in an attempt to address the situation as the farmers desperately waited within the floors. A verdict to resume sales would still not bring a smile on the face of the farmers as average prices remained 90 cents per kilogram after reopening of the market at around 11.45 a.m. Bells with no sale tags were also still visible, especially at the auction section. Ironically, Minister of Agriculture Joseph Manamveka, who officially opened the market with high hopes only toward the contract selling section where the situation was calm. On average, the quality of the tobacco of that this year we expected that to be to improve than last uh, than the previous the previous year. Not last year it was drought and all that, but this year on average also we had very good rains. So we expect the quality of the tobacco uh, throughout the it should be much better, much better. But obviously it will be our dryers because that will, will give us a poor quality of tobacco. So that's our anticipation. And today it's been I know it, today it's been a first day obviously. From a look of things, future of this club, tobacco, seem to hang in a balance. No one is so certain what next is there for Malawi. Others suggest diversification, but as it stands, everyone seems to leave it to fate. Every day and every year, is a sorry story for the tobacco grower. From the Limbi auction flows, for Times, this is William Kumwembe reporting.
The Reserve Bank of Malawi, RBM, has set an ambitious 5% target for inflation by 2021. RBM Governor Dalitso Kabambe said there is no need to press the panic button on inflation, maintaining its focus of an average single digit by the end of this year. Chimema Mangazi has the whole story. RBM Governor Dali Tokabambe said this recently in Lirongwe, stressing that with the prospective men's output, the country is poised to record the lowest level of headline inflation since 1990 very soon. He added that this will translate into the policy rate falling to 11%. Inflation is on its longest stretch of single digit with the March 2019 non inflation at 5%, being the lowest inflation non food inflation recorded since March 1991. With the prospective maize output, this country is poised to record the lowest level of headline inflation since 1990, mark my words, very soon. At this, at this pace, our medium term inflation objective of 5% is likely to be met much earlier than the projection we made earlier on of the first quarter of 2021, meaning that our policy rate of 11%, we are likely to get it in less than 18 months from now. Furthermore, the exchange rate is also on one of its longest stretch of stability. And with the levels of reserves that we currently have accumulated over the years, we are going to continue with this stability in the exchange rate going forward. President of the Economics Association of Malawi, Chikumbu Tsokalirombe, said the feat can indeed be achieved within the next 20 months. He said from the trends and the expectations cited, such should spur more economic activity and growth as that's what the country needs the most. From Lilongwe, I am Chimwe Mangazi. Remember, this is Business Time on Times Television with me, Sharon Chirua. It is a magazine program where we bring you major business and economic news stories. When we get back, we look at the performance of Luangwa Sako in 2018. Daily Times, Malawi News, and the Sunday Times newspapers. Anytime, anywhere, by the click of a mouse or a swipe on your smartphone. With E-Times, right on your mobile gadget. Flip through the pages with a swipe or a click. Navigate through all pages and see clear pictures and designs. Access a database of previous papers of the Daily Times, Malawi News, and the Sunday Times. Easy. Subscribe now to eTimes. Go to www.times.mw forward slash eedition. Sign up and log in. Enter your password and enjoy the newspaper. It's about time. Welcome back. Representatives of the Malawi Union of Savings and Credit Cooperatives, MUSCO, are speaking highly of performance of Luangwa Sako in 2018 after it posted a profit surplus of 20 million kwacha and enhanced adult literacy among its members. Ezekiel Tindwa, who is business development manager at MUSCO, says Luangwa Sako has proven to be one of the most successful cooperatives growing in profits and assets. Well, uh, the performance to me is excellent. Uh, I'll describe it using the statistics or the data uh, based on the audit report. I'll start with uh, membership because when we are looking at circle performance, we base on membership because membership is the key denominator for the growth of any circle. Now, looking at Duasco circle, they have grown their membership from 3,400 to 4,400, a growth of 1,000. It's a mere achievement, uh, which results in the performance of the circle. Secondly, uh, the growth of surplus, the profits. Tuasco Circle has performed very well. When you look at their performance, 2017, they posted a surplus of 56 million, whereby in the year 2018, they have posted 76 million there is a growth of 20 million. This 20 million basically is a profit for other circles or other institutions, but this is just a growth. And when I'm looking at their growth in terms of surplus, we also look at the growth of assets. 
they are now at 550 uh, million. When we look, uh, we arrive at uh, performance, we have the basis such as uh, ratios which we use to analyze the performance. One of the key ratios is uh, looking at the asset base. The ideal situation when circles have done well, we expect them to post a 10% of total assets. Now the 10% of total assets of uh, 550 million is 55 million, but the SAG was posted 76 million. That's quite an excellent performance to us. Well, uh, this is not just coming, it comes because of leadership. Good leadership, uh, management, but at the same time support from the members. Without uh, working together as a team, they cannot achieve results. But at the same time, uh, the support which they get from Moscow in terms of technical support. Moscow is there to provide technical support to circles and Duasco is one of the circles which is getting such kind of support. Moscow uh, provides technical assistance. When I'm looking at technical assistance, part of it is training. Training is very key. Now, Duasco embarked on one project which is financial retransfer focusing to the adult education, the members. And this is the project which now today they have more than 20 members who have graduated. We have, we have an evidence that they were getting their certificates. It's because of we want the members to appreciate, uh, uh, I mean, education on how they can manage and control their funds. Particularly, our emphasis is on how do they control and manage their funds. Issues of business management. We, as Moscow, we participate and we facilitate only this. So, Duasco, we are congratulating them for this kind of project. And it's not only Duasco. These kind of projects are extended to all circles in Malawi. We have a number of circles which have experiencing these literacy problems, challenges. We encourage them to do the same. We have other projects which we call study circle. Members, they sit on a circle and we keep on teaching them on how to learn, I mean, to control their funds. Even leaders, how to learn the entity. Management, again, how to learn the circle. All these are important projects which we do and technical support from Moscow. Justin Zinkambani is president of the SACO. Our SACO has been improving uh, in terms of its performance uh, on the statistics. Uh, we, last year we made 56 million and this year we've managed to make another 76 million. This is through membership uh, uh, growth in terms of the savings and the, the loans that have been collecting from uh, the SACO as a group. But ideally, uh, they share these monies at the end of the day. Uh, we might call it a profit, but the purpose of the, the, the circle is for the members to gather their monies together and also lend to each other. And in the process, they give each other a small amount of interest, which they end up sharing because they are also shareholders. We've had challenges. Uh, we've lost some members uh, within the circle through some retrenchment uh, of other companies. Mind you, within the, the, the local uh, sector where we are, there are more than 13 companies around. And with the current economic situations, most companies we have noted, they've been uh, retrenching uh, their, their staff. So that has not spared us as well. Uh, we've, we've been uh, hit by the similar. So we've lost some of the members through that. And uh, some of the members, uh, definitely, they have retired. Uh, going back home. But we've also uh, mitigated that factor through uh, opening up a common bond so that we, we fill up the gaps where members are living. Last year I mentioned that along the Lake Basin we want to, to pry over as our circle. We want to put a business to empower people economically in terms of uh, membership, in terms of money, in, in terms of the economy uh, within the families. So those people who benefited, those who have seen what we've done in Salima, they've been also beckoning us to go uh, in Karabi, uh, where we have tourist uh, centers. Uh, there are so many uh, companies along lodges and all that. 
they would want to join a circle. They, there's no circle that has penetrated that site, so we want to go down there and open a, a, an office for the Duasco site. Ideally, when last year we were telling people that you join SACO because we don't want you uh, to be uh, used up by uh, Caterpillar people or other people who definitely uh, uh, give loans that are not uh, 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 credential in terms of uh, uh, legal loans. So we encourage a lot of people to join SACO. So we are not worried. Ideally, that makes us happy because we need more members who should come in. Let them get them uh, circle uh, loans as often as they, they can. It's not a challenge, but the, the issue is that we need to train them how to use. It's not just like free money. Today they're in a loan, tomorrow they're in a loan. But they have to understand we have also systems, uh, we have policies that they have to understand. That's the whole purpose. Last year we made 56 million, as the area said. Uh, that was our, our profit. This year we made 76 million. This has come because you, you might have noted the numbers of members that have joined. A thousand members have joined within the period from last year to this year, which means our circle is doing very fine. And we don't deny any loans. They come in and collect loans. Currently, we've even started giving uh, vehicle loans. Uh, we have members that are taking vehicle loans. There are more benefits they are getting, insurance loans as well. And there are other facilities, and uh, corporate accounts, and all those are bringing in happiness into our family. They are seeing the fruit of being a member of the sun. That's the whole reason. Malawi Stock Exchange listed mobile phone service provider TNM on Thursday launched DSTV Now Data bundles that provide lifetime opportunity to DSTV subscribers to live stream DSTV channels on DSTV Now application at a low price. TNM Head of Marketing Sobu Zangwenya said the launch of the bundles underscores his firm's commitment to give customers affordable high quality internet services. Uh, indeed, today as TNM, we've uh, uh, signed a partnership with uh, uh, Multi Choice, where uh, our customers and Multi Choice customers can be able to experience uh, uh, convenience as far as uh, DSTV uh, is concerned. Today, uh, what TNM uh, and uh, Multi Choice have put on the table is that we have introduced bundles that people can be able to use for them to access the DSTV now. Uh, what DSTV now will do is it will be able to offer them uh, access the content live as, as it is happening on DSTV, but they can also be able to catch up uh, using uh, uh, their smartphones. The major issue that uh, our customers will experience is that now they've got a customized bundle for them to be able to watch uh, DSTV now, which is very affordable and provides that convenience. Uh, the access, uh, access to the DSTV bundle is very simple. We've got various uh, points where uh, customers can access a bundle. Uh, wherever, uh, pl whichever platform our customers are using to be able to buy a bundle, either the Dell Star 100 hash, wherever, when they follow the instructions to buy a bundle, they will see that the DSTV, uh, the DSTV now bundles are going to be there, or they can Dell Star 202 hash, and then the menu will be able to show them uh, the, the bundles that are available on DSCV now, or they can go to the TNM Smart app. When they open buying uh, bundles, they will also be able to see uh, the, uh, the DSCV now bundles. But as well as buying directly, they will, there are some shortcuts which uh, customers can use because these bundles range from a 512 MB bundle all the way to uh, a bundle that is uh, a 6 GB, uh, costing 6,000 at the maximum and 1,000 on the lower side. Multi-Choice Malawi Managing Director Gus Banda said the launch of the data bundles will help provide convenience to DSTV Now customers. The launch of DSTV data bundles comes two months after TNM launched Office in a Box, a product which provides an all-in-one internet connectivity, digital voice landline and email hosting package respectively. Well, I think that customers can look forward to convenience and I think that when uh, the two organizations sat down and looked at this, one of the things that we were looking at was how can we be uh, of convenience to both our customer base. And I think that we've, we've done it with, uh, by introducing bundles for DSTV now.
As we proceed with the program, let's now take a look at how the Malawi Kwaja is faring against major trading currencies on the foreign exchange market. Now you can access the Daily Times, Malawi News, and the Sunday Times newspapers anytime, anywhere, by the click of a mouse or a swipe on your smartphone. With eTimes, right on your mobile gadget, flip through the pages with a swipe or a click. Navigate through all pages and see clear pictures and designs. Access a database of previous papers of the Daily Times, Malawi News, and the Sunday Times. Easy. Subscribe now to eTimes. Go to www.times.mw forward slash eedition. Sign up and log in. Enter your password and enjoy the newspaper. It's about time. Airtel Malawi on Thursday announced new charges on the pay-as-you-go internet browsing from 31 kwacha 50 tambala per megabyte to 15 kwacha per megabyte, representing a 52% slash in the charges. During a press briefing at its headquarters in Lidongwe, the company also announced the launch of new Chesani bundles that allow customers to buy minutes from 100 kwacha to 10,000 kwacha between daily, weekly, and monthly bundles. Airtel's marketing director, Frank Magombo, said that the move was in response to the feedback they got from customers. These are um, uh, permanent tariffs. These are products that we have launched for our customers to enjoy for as long as they can enjoy this product. These will be there uh, for as long as we can be able to offer such, such rates. So these are permanent rates. And who are we targeting? We're targeting customers that use internet and those that use voice on our network. Those that like to talk and those that like to surf. They should be able to enjoy these this rates. And anyone else who would like to enjoy such good rates, either you're on ATEL or you're on any other network, we would encourage them to come to ATEL and enjoy these benefits. He added that the company has more surprises in store for its customers in the course of the year. From Lidongwe, I am Chimwe Mangazi. Well, with that story, we also come to the end of today's edition of Business Time right here on Times TV. It is a magazine program where we bring you major business and economic news stories making headlines in the country. On behalf of the entire production team, I am Sharon Tira. But always remember, if it doesn't make money, it doesn't make sense. Bye for now.